It's a busy, busy week here in South Florida with Art Basel back and <laughs> bigger than ever. Oh, yes. It is the first time since 2019 that the event is back in person on Miami Beach. And Local 10's Amy Vettieri live down in Miami Beach with a sneak peek at the festivities. And what a great assignment today, Amy. <laughs> Yes, I lucked out and there is a lot of buzz here today, Calvin, because as you said, Basel is back and this is the first time we are having the show since missing last year due to the pandemic. Now, today's event is mostly a private one, pretty much invitation only, but there really is something for everyone, whether you're into more traditional medium like paintings or some more unusual mixed media. Welcome back. Uh, Art Basel is back. It's been a gone for at least a year, obviously. And the art world was eager to be back as doors opened for Art Basel at the Miami Beach Convention Center after missing last year due to COVID-19. But this is not just another edition. It is a historic event for the American art world because this show marks the first truly international fair to take place since the start of the pandemic 18 months ago. The pandemic would not be denied at least some of the spotlight. In order to get access to see works by Picasso, Rothko, Basquiat and others, attendees must show proof of a negative test or offer proof of vaccination. Masks are also required and with a few exceptions, the majority of people complied. These kinds of events are easier to control because because uh, they're ticketed, you can control capacity, and they're taking all the measures they need to uh, to make really a safer experience. After a year of uh, being in isolation and mourning, people are so excited to come together, and especially about this iconic event. This year's event brings together over 250 galleries, nearly half of those from outside the United States, a feat made possible by recently relaxed travel restrictions even as the latest COVID variant, Omicron, raises new concerns overseas. You can come and see some of the most amazing, inspiring uh, pieces of art in the world all coming to our city for this week. But the other thing is you need to do it safely, and, and they've provided all the right ingredients for a very safe event. And this event here at the Miami Beach Convention Center officially opens to the public on Thursday. And you heard the mayor talking about doing things safely. They are also doing their best to really streamline that process here. For example, once you show your negative test or proof of vaccination, they will give you a wristband so you don't have to keep pulling that out every time you come into the art hall. Again, Mayor Gelber saying they estimate around 80,000 people traveling to South Florida for this event. So they are going to have their hands full. Oh, yeah. We are live in Miami Beach. Amy Viteri, Local 10. Okay, so the particulars are out of the way about COVID-19 and all that. What about the actual art and the banana and the duct tape and all that stuff going on? <laughs> Any unusual stuff? <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's plenty of unusual stuff, but I didn't want to, you know, put people on blast and show them on TV. Oh. <laughs> but no bananas this year. We're still on the hunt, though. We've got another hour. I'll see what I find for you at six. Okay, we look forward <laughs> to it. Thanks a lot there, Amy. If you want to see what events are going on for Art Basel, just scan the QR code on your screen here. That code will take you straight to a list we've compiled on local10.com.